Um, <clears throat> today is the 19th day of November, and we are interviewing Tom Schutte at the um, Adams County Courthouse. Um, Tom, uh, would you tell us your birth date? May 11th, 1940. May 11th, 1940. Okay, and uh, my name is uh, Matthew Hutmacher, and I'll be doing the interview, and uh, let's see. Uh, Tom, will you state uh, for the recording, uh, the recorder, I guess it is, what war and branch branch of service you served in? Well, it was the Vietnam War. Uh, branch was uh, U.S. Army, I guess. At, at yeah, at, at, at Army National Guard. You can also say if you want, but you were technically Army. Yeah, yeah, because they had possession of you. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, and what was your rank? Spec five. Okay. Um, where did you uh, serve? July, South Vietnam. Okay. Now, did you uh, uh, travel uh, for the uh, army uh, while you were there, or were you? Most of the time in uh, the uh, company area, or basically, I just had a job there at uh, Ration Breakdown. Uh, okay. A few times I did ride uh, shotgun for the uh, officers when they took the payroll around uh, different outfits. All right. Um, Anything else that uh, you might have forgotten that was, you know, of some importance to you? Not really. Not really? Okay. Um, can you remember your, um, you know, I'll, I'll change that, I believe. When you arrived there, within a few weeks, did you uh, meet, uh, or, yeah, were there Vietnamese in that area? And when I say that, I, I mean friendly Vietnamese, like workers and uh, Yeah, but like I never that. did have nothing to do with them. Oh, all right. Well, that, that answers that one for me. Um Did you uh, bring any um, old mementos or things that, you know, caught your eye that you think that you'd want to take back to the uh, States? Uh, you know, something that uh, you could buy, like a painting of some sort, which I did. I had a painting or two that, for a couple bucks. Yeah, well. You don't, uh, if you don't remember. I don't really remember if I bought anything or not. I'd have a lot of beer. <laughs> Didn't we all? <laughs> okay. Um, now you you have told us. Uh, is there anything more you want to add to what your job assignments were than what you've uh, already told us? Or anything happened that was, you know, that you remember that was important when you were at work? No, not really. Okay. If at any time uh, you remember something, just raise your hand or something, and we'll stop and, and uh, give you a chance to talk about it. And you'll also have another chance at the end to ask you to take a few minutes and think, well, gee, if I put everything down that I can think of. So um, there's no right or wrong. There's, you know, um, so you have to answer if you want to. You, no one can make you do anything that you don't want to do here. Okay. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, you've given me your uh, rank, I think, or no, maybe I had. What was your, you were a spec five. Yeah, yeah right. I wrote spec it down five. Right there, yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you've established that um, you were in Chu Lai or occasionally driving under certain cer situations. That, in other words, you're not at Duck Fo uh, no. or anything. Okay. Because your work would have been right there. Right there. In, in that area. In that area. Okay. Anything that totally doesn't apply, I'm just putting a line through it. Okay. Okay. Um, and mementos, you didn't bring anything back, as I recall you said earlier, so that we don't worry about mementos. No, I didn't bring nothing back. Okay. And um, you want to give us just a little bit about uh, what you did uh, as far as uh, ration breakdown? Were you in the the main building or? Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm just trying to think what all went on down there. Yeah. Well, we handled vegetables, milk, ice cream. I don't remember. Somebody yeah, else took care of the okay. dry goods and stuff. Basically, we, we handled all the milk, ice cream. Okay. Fresh vegetables if we got a hand. Was there anything at work that you remember that was kind of funny or out of the usual or a crisis at work or anything? No. You know, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, did you have any um, uh, knowledge or see uh, any casualties uh, at the time that you were overseas? No. Okay. Uh, were you, um, uh, you did have occasionally rockets uh, or mortars, and mortar shells come into the company area? Yeah, yeah, we got hit ever so often. But about how often would you guess? Oh, I was going to try to think, maybe once a week, maybe. Okay. I don't know, maybe it wasn't even quite that often. Maybe, uh, I just can't remember how. Okay. Sit there in the hoots and watch them shoot them. Stray bullets up and down the company streets from out there in the boondocks somewhere. But hmm. Now, did anybody get hit occasionally from that? No, we were lucky. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Or Sunday afternoon, everybody knew stay on the street. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> you learned fast, yeah. didn't you, Tom? Right. <laughs> I think that only happened about once, if I remember right. But, uh, now, they never got close enough to use artillery against you, no, did they? Well, they probably did, but I don't think they <laughs> used too it. much. Tell me, did you uh, sleep through the night regardless of it, or did you just get up and go to... Oh, uh, hell no. I got up and down, and you'd wake up and maybe use the running. Mm. Okay. Run to them bunkers. We had them nice bunkers built. I saw pictures uh, someone had of those, and they yeah. really looked good. Oh. I mean, for protection. They was. A yeah. lot better than Long Ben had. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't know where uh, they got all that good stuff they used, but you know, we put about, had them probably 12 inch beams, mm -hmm. then about three foot of sandbags on top of them. So, my, my, just a guess would be that because everybody had some kind of a craft or almost or something like that, that yeah, you we could had trade their, services. All, all, that's right. They had all kinds of carpenters. Mm -hmm. Electricians and everything in that outfit, and yeah. everybody, and everybody worked. You know, mm -hmm. didn't yeah. have to. Time goes fast. You know, sure, but you know, you didn't have to tell a guy a hundred times that they'd all be hiding from you and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
if at any time you think of something, just interrupt what we're doing and put it out, you know, yeah. and we'll, we'll talk about it or I'll record or this will record what we have. Okay. Um, okay. On metals, I think I have already done that for, yeah, yeah you and I started more uh, or less with that. So you've got, we've got that in the record then. Okay. He said no. And what? Okay. I guess uh, let, let me yeah, I think all, what I was thinking about is what I just did, but uh, that's so you're um, if you had uh, received the following medals, a Vietnam Service Medal, uh, National Defense Medal, and the uh, Vietnam Campaign uh, Medal. Did that sound right for the three that you had? Probably. And then uh, the uh, you're entitled to, I don't know if you have it uh, or not, but you're an entitled because of the status of your unit, meritorious unit uh, commendation uh, with streamers and so on. Uh, that's what you guys earn uh, anyway. And, and you can find it. I know you've probably seen it. It's in here mm -hmm. and indicates all of that stuff. So, so something to be proud of, that's for sure. Uh, oh, how'd you get along with uh, uh, the uh, officers, uh, the um, enlisted men? Uh, well, Matt, you, and, you know yourself, I get along with anybody. I mean, very few people I've had problem with, maybe I'm going to be 75 my next birthday, and there's only a couple on the railroad that 36 years that I couldn't get along with, and probably hasn't been too many more than that out on the civilian life. Well, I, I'm not going to bring my knowledge of you in. <laughs> but so you know, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to let you say it. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I'm, I'm not going to get in that. Too many of them R's around, but, you know. Hey, you know, you got to vote right. Today. That's right. You got to vote right. I oh, never... okay. Let's see here. Oh, uh, I gather you probably, the unit over there uh, was able to get whatever equipment, supplies, food that it needed, particularly since that's what it does for the Army, uh, one of the many things. So is that correct? When you needed something, you could normally get it? Yes, sir, by hook or crook. Uh, Just what I was going to say. Okay. But you always had man, somebody right? could figure out a way to, well, we have to. That one old boy run the PX said, "Man, I get them fresh vegetables. You come down." He said, "You get whatever you need in this PX." <laughs> right to the front of the line. Wow, that is wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. As far as uh, the who was in charge, uh, if you remember, of um, as the chief cook or in charge. Uh, you know, I mess. can't remember. And yeah. Jack Wilson was, he, he run the night shift. Oh, okay. And, you know, he was an E6. Yeah. And, but as far as who was actually in charge in their daytime, I can't remember. Okay. And whether it was somebody from another company well, or. Willer, yeah. was Willer. Well, Willer was in the mess hall. Hell, he, yeah, mean, that's what, it, okay. I was matter saying. Right, you know, right to break down what wasn't even connected to the mess hall. Okay, okay. Well, that, yeah, I guess I didn't ask the question right at all. What I was wondering about, who was kind of in charge for the quality of your meals and that? Was that like Willer? Well, that would have been whoever was in. That was old Sergeant Teal. He was the mess sergeant. Well, okay, was he? Yeah. I, I, I didn't remember. Yeah, Willer Teal he, was. Uh, Teal was. Served with yeah, you. Yeah, he, he, you know, him and him and Schultz come from Springfield. Okay. To get some more active duty time in. And, uh, they got it. To help their pension, and they got it all right. Yeah. Oh, man, did they get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you got your meals. Did you like the food or dislike the food? Or, oh, you know, no, they, they fed us pretty good as far okay. as. 
Okay. Well, I'll give him a plus. Be on guard duty or anything at night. You can always, Ted was working, you can always go up there and get them bacon and eggs at 2 o'clock in the morning. They tasted pretty good. Oh, I'll bet they did. Mm. Tastes good right now. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> the, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you something about the, the mess hall. Uh, Let me switch gears a little bit here. Um, as far as R and R goes, did were you able to take one? Yes, sir. I went to Australia. Oh, now tell me a little bit about that. Well, nice town. Everything runs the wrong way as far as you know the cars and the, everything in the United States. You're going one way, and over there was just the opposite. But mm. yeah, that's a, that's a lovely country. Mm. Okay, so uh, you and your wife did get to go uh, to R and R then. No, I wasn't married at the time. How the hell could my wife go? <laughs> oh, I didn't get married until seventy four. Oh yeah, I remember going to the the wedding, and yeah, that was subsequent to. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hmm. Mem my memory. Hmm. Forty years ago, this past October, we got married because we. Hmm. We made that little trip to Hawaii there in September. That's what. Uh, By the way, uh, don't forget that. What's that? Well, the marriage. I, I no. forgot to be on a once in, you know, and so, you know, better to make sure you take care of that, you know. Although you know that by now. Okay, how did you, uh, what did you do for uh, entertainment or for something to do when you weren't working? Well, I tend to bar up the club for one thing. Mm -hmm. And it uh, seemed like you always had somebody was cooking out or something. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just, I don't know, just, I don't know, we'd go down there to the beach. Okay. And uh, now, did play, you, play in the water a little bit. Yeah. Different did, things. Did you use the beaches then down there? Yeah, we uh, used that, uh, what do they call it? China Beach or China, something. Yeah, there. I think so. Beautiful there, I'll tell you that. That's uh, like nothing I've ever done before. Better than skiing, better than anything. So. That, uh, the I've, sun was so it. hot, though, it burned in the heartbeat, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it really was... <laughs> Okay. Anything else you did? You play cards quite a bit? Yeah, I played a little gin rummy. Okay. Love playing gin rummy. Mm, you must be good at it. I was then, but I ain't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh when you were down at the beach, uh, anybody play any pranks or anything like that, or any humor down there on the beach? Or? Not too much that I can remember. That I, I just that's well, been a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you bring any uh, or have any pictures that you wanted us to uh, look at? I give it to that gal down there. Uh, oh, so she so has. So she's uh, yeah. Okay. I found a few of the Good. That's good. In fact, I found one from basic training. There were four of us on that picture. And for somehow, I wrote their names all down. Did you? One guy was Carl Tillich from Chicago. Another guy was Joel Smith from down here in southern Missouri. was just a prince of a man. Hmm. And then there was one more on there, but I wrote all them names down on that. Wow. And, uh, but that's the only one that... Uh, you know, wrote down who, who was in the picture. And, you know, that's the worst thing that you can do anymore. You get these old pictures at home, you're going through and stuff, and there ain't nobody's name on it. Well, my parents and, and uh, my aunts and uncles are all gone. Oh. So, you know, how do you... Uh, how do, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good point to, to make. Some yeah. of the, my cousins that are a little bit older than me, uh, I got to take some of them pictures down there. We try to get together, you know, once a month mm -hmm. and... And see if they know who they are. Hmm. Yeah. That 
that's all you can do. Yeah. If you get lucky, you, maybe you will. Um, okay, yeah, we talked about that. Okay, were you, uh, what I don't remember, uh, were you still with the unit when we came back? No, no, I got out three months early because my time was up. Okay, gotcha. Got out in May. Yeah. I had thought Ron that was here earlier uh, had done the same. He said, no, I came back with the yeah. With the unit. I don't know how many guys got out early. I know me and Jack Wil or not Jack Wilson, but Jack Jack Yates and Donnie Mason. There were a lot. George uh, Keller. And, uh, there were a lot. Uh, Ted Wilmer got out early. Benny Scott. Benny Scott from over Missouri. Yeah. He was about the first one. I think he got out in February. He was a, one of them was a sheep shear. Yeah, that was him. That was Benny. Old Benny was a sheep okay. shear. <laughs> Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Now, did you have Ellison in this morning? Was he in already or not? I think he was in. Uh, uh, Kent would know more than I do. Uh, I seen him last night at the Senior Citizens, and he was, I thought he said he had to well, come down there this morning. But do they do that? There, there's some other guys. Okay. I think, doing, yeah. Doing he, that. yeah. Okay, uh, do you remember... I bet you would be a good one for this. Remember the day your service uh, ended. Well, I want to say May 22nd of 1969. Okay. One, one other question on that uh, topic. Um, how did they, uh, did you, were you discharged right at the base you happened to be on? Or did, I got did out you get a discharge? Fort Lewis, Washington. So they pro processed you that yeah, way. Yeah, processed, processed me out, out there. Okay. Okay, so none of this applies to you because you uh, did it at Fort Lewis. Okay. Yeah, you've answered that already for me. When you, let me ask uh, you this, uh, when your time ran out, uh, it, did they let you know in time to actually get you out of Vietnam? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, what, uh, uh, how much time was it before you actually uh, were discharged? I don't know if it took a week or how long it took. Cause I left July and went to Cameron Bay. Okay. And from Cameron Bay, we flew to Tokyo. And then from Tokyo, we flew to Fort Lewis, Washington. Okay. And that's where I got discharged. And that they yeah. gave you your documents and uh, and so on. Yep. Okay. I just kind of wondered because, you know, a lot of guys just never came back, obviously, because their time was up. Yeah. Yeah, they came individually, so. Okay, when you, uh, yeah, that trip home before you hit the base, uh, what was, if you remember, uh, what was on your mind, uh, if anything, uh, what, what did you feel? Did you feel great? Did you feel, I'm, you know, uh, how did you feel when oh. you came back? You know, I don't even remember that. Okay. Okay, I just, just wondered because. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, and when you uh, came back, you, okay, you were eligible to get, to uh, work with the railroad then right away. Yeah, yeah I got some time, job I'm right sure back. Gave you some. Yeah, you got right, right back. Okay. Okay. And then how many years did you do with the railroad? 36. 36. Okay. That's a lot of cold mornings. Okay. When uh, you're home, you go back to the railroad. Well, that's, that's, in spite of the cold and the hard work, that's a pretty good job. 
wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. I oh, thought it was an excellent. So you, you didn't need to go on uh, with the GI Bill then or anything uh, like that. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a kind of a tough one. Um, they wanted me to ask a question about um, any close uh, friendships. And when I say that's kind of hard, because uh, you you came from a big unit yeah. that everybody knows everybody, but was there anything special you'd like to call to our attention uh, about the the friendships that you know maybe a, just a little different than oh I would most people? That me and Jack Jack Yates and Rich Perkins us three was always pretty tight. Three three good good men, and uh, you know. They looked out for each other more than mm -hmm. anything else. Okay. Well, that's uh, that. That's what I was asking you. Thank you. That helps a lot. And uh, the other thing now, uh, do you still have contact with uh, Perkins? I haven't seen him for a while. I got got his phone number in my pocket, but I've oh. got to call him. My God, he didn't make it to the last reunion, and I don't know oh, if he's, he? okay. if I, he's I, sick or what's the matter with him, but he's yeah. down there, in, what do they call it, uh, Billy Home or some kind of... Oh, down in Florida? No, he's in Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. Uh, yeah. I'll never remember, but I know that oh, area. Which is village, there. what the devil's... Uh, Hot Springs, Hot oh, Springs Village Hot Springs. or something. Okay. He's right, it's right there. Right there. In that area. He loved to play golf. Mm. So mm. whether he's, I've got to call him and see because I run to his brother-in-law every now and then here in town. But I always forget to ask him. My old well, I'll brother. try to, next time I see you, which will be a couple of weeks, yeah. I'll try to remind you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know you attend reunions, so no sense asking you that. Um, do you, oh, do you belong to any other um, uh, military units? Uh, well, I've been units? American Legion for 44 years. Okay, me too. Yeah, so I, you and I are like there. Uh, so that pretty well, most people don't also do the VFW. I don't. I, I don't, don't belong to VFW either. Yeah, either. I don't either. Okay. Um, Oh, um, yeah. Um, has um, anyone thanked you for your uh, serving your country or, you know, words to that effect? Probably in the last year, I've got thanked more times mm -hmm. than ever in the other 44. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come to the ball games and stuff when I'm taking tickets at Notre Dame and they'll see I've got a hat on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vietnam veteran or something, and they'll say, well, thank you for your service. And that uh, makes you feel awfully good. Mm -hmm. uh, here's one. Uh, uh, do you feel that your service uh, in the Army uh, has affected your life a lot? A little bit, or you don't know what was he? Oh, I'm sure it's affected you to a certain extent. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, anything that's a discipline mm -hmm. that you know, so many of these kids don't have any discipline at all anymore, mm -hmm. and uh, it just makes you wonder if it would be good for everybody to go in for mm -hmm. six months or a year. Or at least a year. Well, it would it just it would seem that most people get more out of the army, uh, except with the obvious problems, uh, than what they get more than what they have to provide. Yeah, yeah. I know that's kind of what it seems to me, but. Uh, Okay, does the the military service you had, does that influence your thoughts about uh, war and uh, the military in general? So that's a tough question. Well, somebody's got to do it. Yeah. 
and it seems like we get enough people, you know, with this, uh, they don't have the draft anymore, but, you know, the all volunteer service. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, the other, another one here is that they would like you to consider whether you have the same government views as before or have they changed? Well, do you feel you changed a lot? Uh, no, not as far really. as your military views, uh, one no. way or the other. No. Okay. What's the most positive thing in your life that you received from the service? That's the first question. Most positive uh, thing, not to have, you know, good for you. And oh, mentally, I, uh, just, you know, what I don't you know. I mean, it, it, it didn't bother me mm -hmm. as far as, you know. Mm -hmm. They always said you, you can do it your way as long as you want to, but eventually you're going to do it the Army's way. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that. There is a lot. Of, I have to agree with you there. You know, you and I agree an awful lot. I can't believe it. I can't. can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, that's that. Uh, oh, and then what is the most negative thing that you got out of the army? Something you didn't like? Oh, I don't know what that would be. Hmm. Again, you don't, if you can't make up your mind, just say. I don't, you know, really, you don't have any idea, really. Yeah. That, uh, you know, just just go along with whatever's going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I, uh, you've, uh, we've tra traveled pretty fast here. Uh, I don't know. No. I don't know what time we started. But, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, um. It just, uh, why don't we take a couple minutes and just sit and see if there's something that comes to you that maybe you overlooked that you were thinking you would be talking about or, you know, uh, that you wanted to do it. So, yeah, I got down to Cameron Bay, and I don't remember how many days I had to stay there waiting for, you know, my, my flight to leave there to go to come back to the real world. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you meet a lot of different people and stuff, but this, this one Green Beret that he, uh, he was on the same flight that I was, and he had three of them guns that he confiscated out in the, out in the boonies. And uh, they didn't want him to bring them home with him. And he, he got awful upset about that. He says, uh, you don't touch my guns. Hmm. And uh, his, he, he got on the airplane with them. I'll say that. Hmm. But, so I don't know whatever happened once he got to Fort Lewis, Washington with him. But he... Uh, or uh, could he, uh, would he have any idea what his name was? Well, he was resourceful to get as far as he Oh, could. yeah. And I bet he got. I he did, too. <clears throat> they had. Uh, oh, I didn't want to get involved. In Go ahead. That, but no, I was just going to say that uh, they had a lot of free reign when they're flying one of those big, uh, an awful lot of flexibility of what they yeah. did. I mean, and they were, most of them had been in the service anyway, sure. you know, and well, when you get to one of those big ones like that. So I bet, I bet he talked his way in, but that's all speculation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any idea, but all I remember was he had them, <laughs> them three big, big rifles. Wow. Uh, man, what are you, what are you doing with them? Huh? <laughs> Some other guys had confiscated the, uh, Few of them forty fives and stuff shipped them home and different different things. You could buy one for five 
or five, no, $25 I paid so I wouldn't have to clean my 45. Sure. You could just, now it wasn't probably, I never fired it, never wore it even, mm -hmm. except occasionally. And I couldn't hit anything with it anyway. No. So, you know. And then I sold, uh, I could only get like $20 out of it when I tried to, I sold it to somebody for 20 instead of 25. But Is that right? I got rid of it. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't about to, you know, Matt Hootmacher, you know, <laughs> in trouble for sm smuggling.